You know, I know it's Arizona, but it does rain every once in a while. Not like a lot, but enough to have, I don't know, rain in the game. I got bars. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, brother. Just hanging out here, getting some scrap. Now, the scrap has changed. There have been multiple updates to try and fix, or not even just fix, but try to make scrapping better for you and your parts. Try and get them three stars. It's still a task. Let's not get wild. Let's not get nuts. But you can make some money off of that scrap. Especially if you're saying uh, down on your luck, you, you got a little overzealous in purchasing a car and it's not finished and you're down to like 200 bucks. Do not fret my pet. You can go ahead and snag up some parts from the junkyard and then sell them for profit. Now mind you, it's not going to be a whole lot of profit, especially if you're on console. If you're on PC, there are mods that you can download. They give you a little bit of a boost, if you know what I'm saying. And by a little bit of a boost, I mean it can make you some serious cheddar and you don't even need to worry about playing or messing around with any cars. You can literally just hop into the junkyard, snag up certain kinds of scrap, repair them, and boom, you're making profit, dog. Oh, all day. So let me just mock uh, some things down right now because we're going to be messing around with some crap. It's going to be a little bit of a different episode today. Rejoice. So we got 11 million four hundred and six thousand. 257 credits, dollars, dineros, pesos, euros, whatever you want to call it, lira, bot, whatever, well, you, know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm getting at. Now, there's two mods that you can download off the Steam Workshop that will just <laughs> make a ridiculous amount of money. Now, you're going to spend a bunch of money, let's not get wild, but you're going to make a decent profit. Nothing too wild, but still enough for you to be able to finish a car. So, you're going to need the McLaren F1 mod and the DeLorean mod. Because those parts are super nice. Also, there have been updates to the scrapping game. Where you can go ahead and hop into the scrap. And instead of 1, 2, 3 on the right hand side, it can go all the way up to what I've seen is 14 scrap. If you hit that special bonus. But again, that's also for modded parts. Console players are going to be a little bit bummed out. But you can still make a little bit of cheddar on console. Let me show you. Junkyard. Crushing it. Now, today is not so much a car mechanic simulator. It's going to be scrapping for profit simulator. Oh, yeah. And also, it was also kind of fun. Oh, oh. Also kind of fun while you're in the junkyard. You can mess around with all the different cars that you see. So... When you had the DeLorean and the McLaren F1 mod thrown into your game, you'll start seeing the parts pop up in here. Some of them you can repair, a lot of them you can't. But as long as you can repair them, you're going to make some bank. But let me just get you a little idea here. I'm just going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to snag all of these because we got some scrap. Got some scrap. It's going to be a good time. Now, every single DeLorean and F1 mod we're getting. If it's over 15%, it can be repaired. If it's not, leave it. Find a lot of goodies. Find a lot of decent stuff. Oh, McLaren F1 bumper, 17%. We'll snag that up. Now, this seat, one star. I'm going to get all the starred stuff. <laughs> Just kind of show you that it doesn't matter how many stars the part has. It can be anywhere between 1 and 3 to 1 and 7. Has no bearing. Just because it has stars doesn't mean that you're going to get more scrap for your dollar, you know? Which is kind of a bummer, you know? You think they have a two or three star part, um, McLaren up, but it's only 12%. Only 12%. Can't mess with it. Can't mess with it. Stay away. Stay away. Uh, I don't know. I forget if I can repair those lights, but eh, we'll, get it. we'll snag it up anyway. It's going to be fine. But yeah, it could be a two-star or a three-star part, and you go to scrap it, you're going to get the same one, two, three-star parts. Like, you're just going to get the same stuff. So it's like, why am I paying extra money for it? You know what I mean? Is there any other goodies? I found a barn find in here as well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take that one-star. We'll give that three-star. <laughs> we can show off examples. And this is on the latest update that I have downloaded this morning. As of Saturday, 9-11, never forget. All right, so, oh, wait, hold on a second. I don't think I got this last pile. I always forget about this last pile over here. Two piles, actually. Boop. Oh, uh oh, 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 nothing. There's nothing in here. <laughs> oh, one star. We got a one star, June. 
Nope. And let's grab this one around here. Mm-hmm. Okay, they don't have nothing in them. Or anything, for that matter. Boom. So, final price with a discount, we get 11,914 credits. That's how much we're going to spend today for this demonstration. But we got a lot of 19% parts. We got a lot of three-star parts, Land Rovers. So we're going to check out how much scrap you can get for one, two, and three-star stuff, as well as how much money you can make off of repairing certain items. And then just going ham on McLaren and DeLorean parts, and then you actually make your profit, baby. Just off of that, because it's a little ridiculous. Oh, righty. So... What we can do is hop straight over to our repair table. Let's just get this out of the way and show you how stupid it is. All right. Go ahead and repair. Now, that's that repair just cost me $1,100. All right. 882 credits right here. Oh. 1,445 credits. Ridiculous. I'm not even done. It's the most expensive repair. It's not even done. So the repairs cost a stupid amount. And I'm only going to repair the DeLorean and the McLaren parts, and we're gonna sell them just to see how much cash we're going to snag. Of course, we do have to be on the ball. If you mess up, oh, <laughs> the money's all gone. It's all gone. So yeah, these parts, not only are, I mean, they're relatively cheap coming out of the junkyard, but repairing them, whew, whew, it's rough, bro. All right, then we got the Olsen stuff. How about a McLaren? There we go. We got a headlight right here. All right. So after everything's all said and done, we spent $11,000, $11,314 to be precise, just buying the scrap from the scrap yard. The cost of repairing those items was $20,000. $110 for a total cost of $31,424. Wild. Let's start selling them. 5,000 here, 7,000, 7,500, six grand, three grand. Oh, geez. It's on, like Donkey Kong from the break of dawn. Now this Land Rover Defender, we did spend some of the money, so this is also included. So we're gonna sell that, 250 credits, nothing compared to what we just had. Now we have $11,447,333. So after everything is said and done, after we spent the $11,000 to get the scrap, $20,000 to repair that certain scrap, we're left with a profit of $52,390 after everything is said and done. What? Yes, it's ridiculous. It's mental. So, boom, 50 grand off the bat. Just if you have those two mods, all right? You got those two mods, you're rolling in it. It's a little silly. <laughs> now, the scrap, on the other hand, it really doesn't help much. I know they've updated it. I know they've done a bunch of things to it. It still doesn't make a lick of sense. Check it out. So... Well, we got one, three, and five. Instead of one, two, three, nice. But one, two, four. It doesn't go cross universal to different parts. Now, different parts, like the tiny parts, thinking about like sway bars, rubber bushings. Well, rubber bushings don't really, oh, they do scrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we got a three star right here, one, two, four. So it's like, what's the difference? I know one's an interior part, obviously, but then we have one star over here, one, two, four. Two stars right here, one, two, three. It's just basic. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So what we'll do is I'm going to scrap all of this stuff that is under repaired. Like it helps out a little bit. As you can see, I've been doing a bunch of scrapping because I have a McLaren. What? I know. I'm working on a three star game, man. I got I got I got time. Not a lot of time because Scrapping is time consuming. You know, I'm just gonna salvage all this stuff. <laughs> Sc screw it. Screw it. And I think I'm gonna repair it. Why not? Why not? I've already made 50 grand off of repairing these items. Now I'm gonna I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how much actual parts that we can get from the scrapyard. Normal parts. Nothing. McLaren, nothing DeLorean, crap, nothing modded. 
Let's go to the base game here. All right, so no modded parts. Just going straight repair, homie. Ooh, except for barn location. You can't give that up. You can't. You just can't. Now, unfortunately, since I do have a bunch of mods in the game. Oh, so this is the DLC mods. Okay. Dodge Grand Caravan. Most of these are mods, 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 mods. If they're not mods. I'm snagging them. Things that we can repair. So windows, windshields, lights. No buenos. 17% BMW. No, 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 no. McLaren. Nope, 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 nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't work with them. Uh, charging input filter. You know, sometimes you look at these and you're just like, I, I don't even know what that is. Can I repair it? I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing here for the most part. I mean, I get, I, I do have an idea of how certain parts repair. I know pistons don't repair. I know that sway bars don't repair. Serpentine belts, they don't repair. But as far as like batteries and the chargers and all, all the things that go in the electric cars, DLC cars, I'm doing those too. Just give you a heads up. Like the Atom front left, it's a DLC. All these things are available on console. I'm just try. I'm trying my best to be fair here. You know, we gotta we gotta see how much money we can make off of just scrapping the basic stuff, the stuff that comes with the game. It's in the game. If it's in the game, it's in the game. It's gonna be interesting to see some of the comments. Hopefully they're positive. I'm just trying to be as open as possible but you know what this is my this is my fantasy not yours i'll do what i want so if you're uh, bummed out at the fact that oh well diesel's gonna be buying you know, all these cars can you, you just go and get the mclaren parts and all the delorean parts and just make as much money as you want hey 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 this isn't a multiplayer game we're not all competing on a giant grand scale you play however you want to play i'll play however i want to play it really doesn't affect anybody <laughs> are you enjoying yourselves okay okay good 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 keep doing that okay anything else good in here a fuel rail sure why not crankshafts bolt to your front bumpers love it headlights mm, mm, oil pans yeah, yeah, we could totally snag that up, huh? Mm hmm Rim Atlanta, 14%. That's not good. Last pile. BMW, nope, that's a mod. That's a mod. Rim Classic, sure. Fuel Rail, Nissan, DLC, for air filter covers, all basic parts, Mayan M3. All right, so let's see what we got here. Total price, $3,000. $362. Okay. Okay. I like it. I dig it. Let's go ahead and purchase it. 12, 12 pages. Something tells me that we're really going to have success on just the body parts and not so much the actual parts, 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 parts. What's the difference between these parts and those parts? Well, you get what I'm saying. Now, of course, these are just built into the game. There are modded parts that are pretty pretty basic they go along the same kind of lengths as your uh, normal vanilla parts it's just the mclaren f1 and the delorean mods that really bump up the price in the scrap if you get one of those parts and you repair it you're gonna make bank bro it's all the body parts i know i know i know us pc folks we have all the fun but you can have fun as well i promise you now of course i am leveled all the way up Keep forgetting that these are here after you level them all out. Like I'm jacked to the, I'm jacked to the tits. Uh, so we got all of the ability to fix body parts, increase 15%, max that out, and you are going to have yourself a fantastic time. I'm so fast. Ho ho ho! Wow. All right, body parts are rocking out of control. You know, I don't think it's going to be hugely profitable. But I think it's gonna. I'm. I'm predicting. I got predictions over here. Boom. Nice. All right. So body parts taken out or body moving, body moving. And I do apologize. Now that I'm remembering, there is a skill tree that gives you a better price in the shop here. So like, check it out. Five percent discount on parts you buy. Another five percent another 5%, so I automatically get 15% off the top. It's necessary. It gives you the ability to inspect the value of a car. That's fine. That's fine. These three perks right here 
give you 15% off all of the scraps in the, the scrapyard. You know what? I'm banging my head into things. Hold on. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right. We're all out of parts. I'm all out of patience, too. Now I'm just playing. All right. So, inventory. Hold on. Another farm location. <laughs> Snagging it up. Now, there are a couple parts that we weren't able to repair, like these arms. But just not bueno. No bueno. Let's go into condition here and see what we can and can't. All right. So, all the gears, the headlights, even air filter covers, all this stuff, windows, all of it. And I did mess up on a couple things here because, well, I'm not perfect and nobody is. And of course, the, the interior can't do that. Exhaust. I've noticed we can't exhaust. It's exhausting that I can't spend or even repair those. It's a bummer. It's a real bummer. But we have all these beautiful parts. Now, just to give you a heads up, we spent $3,362 on all of these parts. Okay. So technically, we'll, we're going to sell all these. We're still going to make money off of these. We're not going to make as much money, but we're going to try and recoup all the losses that we have. Our repair cost for the body parts and the parts we could repair was $6,949 for a grand total expense of $10,311. Oh, yeah. So now if we sell everything here, including the parts that we don't, we didn't repair or didn't realize that we couldn't repair. Let's see what kind of profit we're looking at here. Let's just get rid of it all. Sell parts. $23,485. And with that leaves us a grand total profit from getting nothing but the base parts in the base game that you can get on console and on PC. You get a profit of $13,154. There you go. You don't need to have McLaren F1 parts and modded parts, whatever you want to call it, in order to get yourself some quick cash. If you have three grand, if you have an extra five grand laying around, you can make yourself a pretty penny. But even if you have 200 bucks, you can turn that 200 bucks maybe into 300. 300 into 500. 500 into 1,000, and then boom, you're buying parts for your whip and getting things moving along. Rolling along, that's right. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. And the reason why I'm doing all of this is to try and do a nice little three star of this absolute nightmare of a car. <laughs> Can I get a car preview, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. This thing is hot garbage, but it is something that we can extend, and we have an extender in the back. I want to try and three star a McLaren F1 and see what kind of cheddar we can snag up. And that's what led me to this video to try and see what we we're going to get out of scrap because it is time consuming we already have a ferrari some people have been asking hey man how comes you have 16 million dollars and now you have 11 million dollars it's pretty sus bro <laughs> you're pretty sus good one diesel it's because of, i've been spending millions of dollars bro and that's my choice i work hard i play hard pretty Sexy. It's perfect. Bask in us. Bask in us. Yeah. Nothing like parking a Ferrari in a storage unit. Hey, Red Dot, do something about that. Can I get a showroom? And then we have the Salem Over King. I got plans, bro. Show it. Show the car, please. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. Red Dot Police. Woo, woo. That's the sound of the police. Woo, woo. It's the sound from the beast. Oh, yeah. I'll put some lights on top of that. We need to make this super duper fast. Super duper fast. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We'll figure it out. Got plenty of... Got plenty of room in my... In my, in my storage lockers. So stupid. It's such a dumb place to store cars. I hate it. It's the worst. I can. I have millions of dollars. I can't build a warehouse. Ah, back home. But folks, it's a different kind of video for today. No renovations or restorations. We're trying. We're talking straight cheddar when it comes to those parts. Those sweet, sweet parts, and what you can do to help yourself out. 
Oh, we got all these things. I could sell all of you. I could sell all of you. In time. In time. But, just to give you a heads up of people that are, I've seen a couple of comments in the comment section about how all oh, McLarens and DeLoreans, all you need is to get those parts and you're going to be a millionaire. Like, settle down, simmer down, settle down. It can, it is possible. But the amount of time that you would have to put into it would be extensive. And that's not fun. Well, it's all dependent on who you are, really. But it is a nice little break if you want to make some cash and not have to work on some parts, work on a car. Tell the guys at the shop, guys, plural, huh? They're going out for a little break. Gonna, gonna check out some parts. And just check out the other aspects of the game. That can net you a pretty penny. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Get any hints, tips, or tricks? I'm sure everybody in that section would love to hear it and get a little uh, couple ideas for themselves. Sounds good? Sounds good. But folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some channel lovers so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit that bell notification and be aware of all the new content. Hold on a second, what's next? I still have to do all the story missions. I'm so lazy. I'm so lazy. Sure. We'll take that offer. Ooh, how dare you get this thing like this? How dare you bring this thing to me in such a manner? You should be ashamed. But everyone, peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, brother. Next time.